Welcome back to Science Sundays. Tomorrow is the anniversary of the day it snowed in Bakersfield, January 25th, 1999. Bakersfield's low that day was 32 degrees, obviously the freezing point of water, and our high that day was just 39. There was about three inches of precipitation from the day before leading into that snowstorm, which resulted in that three inches of snow being recorded here on the valley floor. Now, while there is snow in the forecast for tomorrow, us valley kids usually just have to make our own. So let's join our friends at the Sylvan Learning Center for this week's scientific demonstration. So we're gonna get started by first putting about one cup of the cornstarch. Doesn't have to be exact, but it is gonna get messy, remember? So put about a cup in there. And if you don't want it to stick to your hands, this is a good time to get a little bit onto your hands because the shaving cream will get a little bit sticky. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is take probably about two cups of this shaving cream, approximately. So we're gonna put about one, do your second, and at this point you want to put your dye, the coloring in, you wanna put the dye in there. And that's a great part to put it because then it will get a little bit of color to it. I'm going to choose the color blue because I want it to look a little bit like snow. So we're gonna put about, I'm gonna go with five drops of my blue. Just enough to give it a light blue color the snow. And then we are going to go ahead and begin our stirring. So go ahead and stir this around. And what's happening is the tiny pieces of cornstarch, they get mixed into the shaving cream and they get suspended in the mixture. You're going to want to keep mixing it around. In this first part, it's best to use a spoon. And so keep doing it until you kind of get a little bit more like a dough. It becomes, you kind of start to see the texture changing. That's where we begin to mix it together all the way until you start to be able to shape it into snowballs. Remember, you can always be your own scientist. Have some fun, make observations. Take notes, record your findings, ask lots of questions, and also think about exploring cause and effect. What will happen if, what happens if you put a little bit more or a little bit less? And try different things to see what happens and what works best for you. Now you can get this recipe to make your own snow and watch Delia's full demonstration for free on our website, turn to 23.com forward slash science Sundays. Also find me on Facebook and share your memories of that day 22 years ago when it snowed here in Bakersfield.